Hello everybody, this is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net, emphasis of course on the .net. This is my logo, Phoenix Rising or Phoenix Rampant. Anywhere Wisdom Seekers is, you will find the, the Phoenix. If it's with, we're not there, probably that's not us. Uh, this is for fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for June 16th, 2023. We are on the downward slide of uh, June already. Your time goes very quickly. And uh, something interesting that I've realized, but I haven't put into words before, with this reading, I, I, will, I, I figured it out. So, the Four of Swords, that's where we're coming from coming from a long long line of energies a little bit it's been a little bit hard on us but the the way the light comes in on the card you can see that there is something special coming that we're coming out of that that negative it's hard to get through the day mindset and I've, I've dealt with so many problems over and over again we're coming out of that and we're coming into this the Empress and the Empress is all about abundance will it happen overnight maybe for a few of us and for other people no some sometimes we need to step up so one two three and other people they've done so much work it'll be boop over the edge that's cool uh, good luck to everyone but the abundance, we, it's a mindset. And we have had the mindset of poverty are not good enough for so many centuries. But now it is time for us to change that around and realize we are. We are the soul part of us is divine. There, the physical part of us is of earth and is also divine but from a different kind of perspective. The soul of us, we know these, we know everything. We're part of the whole, we know everything. We're omnis omnipotent. But we, of course, forgot. We're returning to the omnipotence and we're, at the same time, we're working with the physical body to help the earth vibrate at a physically higher level. We're changing our perspective from the third to the fourth or fifth dimension. And uh, I've said this before, the f many, some people will stop at the fourth dimension. They're the warriors. They're the ones that will continue, the, uh, continue working at shifting the negative energies. The rest of us will go to the fifth dimension. And our job is not as warriors, but as beings being, how do you say this, being simply the best we can be. And uh, that it, we're not fighting consciously, or we're not going out and slaying dragons, so to speak, and, and no, I would never go out and slay a dragon. But uh, we're just acting and growing and developing and having aha moments and bringing in fresh energy. It's a, it's there's two different types of people right now, and uh, it's interesting. I, and I'm a fifth dimensional fighter. I'm not a fi I'm not a fourth dimensional fighter. I've done my I've done my warrior years, but other but it, so it's not good or bad. It just simply is. But some of you will identify with the, the warrior and some of you will identify with the scholar's energy. Five of Swords. We do have the uh, we have we do have the ability to do this. We've got the tools, we've developed the tools. And if we don't know what our tools are, then you just simply stop and listen to the universe and the universe will go, try this do that. You just learn to trust the universe and hear what the universe has to say. And once you hear what the universe has to say, you just do it. 
it's it's more about allowing the universe to be part of you rather than giving ceding control to the universe. It, it, you, it's a totally different mindset when we allow the universe and ourselves to be one. Then we move with the move the way the universe asks us to, because it is what we ask ourselves. It's quite different. We are allowing ourselves to heal. But but the big thing that I was saying at the beginning is we're going to start, and it has to do with healing as well, we're going to start to use energy in a different way. It, it might be that you still imagine things. It might be that you still see things, but the, the kind of energy that comes that is coming in is more powerful and because it's more powerful we will handle it slightly different and it might be that we use all the same old tricks and it might be that we we step back and again allow the universe to dictate to you because you are the universe how to use the energy. We are utilizing the energy in a totally different way. It is very important that we understand that. Most importantly is it should bring us to the to living in a world that is much prettier or more confident, more assured, and that we will have abundance. And this is uh, this is important that we allow ourselves to be who we truly are, and that's, believe it or not, who we truly are is, is part of the universe. So back to authenticity, that's what we are looking for. So I pulled this card today for a fire sign. It's cloud nine, but it's the wish card. And we can be on cloud nine because we choose it, but also make the wish for yourself, make it beautiful and grand don't don't be stingy with yourself right have fun with it namaste namasco i love you and you i do love bye